Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. The day is finally here. I'm going to be transferring all of the coral and fish from my original Neptunian Cube K90. This is a 80 gallon, 300 litre roughly uh, total system into my new Dream Reef tank build, which I'm sure you've seen in all my previous videos as we've been getting it ready. It's going to be a big transfer. I've already started a little bit. The frag rack is already gone. I've moved all the frags across, but uh, yeah, what I'm going to start doing is taking out all of the easy corals first, the ones that are uh, just sitting on the bottom or not glued down or like my scollies and um, deshies and the clam and big LPS and things like that and moving those across because that's super easy. Then we're going to transfer this, um, some of the smaller bombies of rock like uh, this one here and the Zoa Garden and this monstrosity I've got in the middle here which is just a coral graveyard full of an elegance and um, scrolling red digi and um, uh, red montipora I mean and then we'll, of my two big bombies there's this one here which will be the first to go and then the hard one which is my big bridge bommy here which will be a, a four hand job I think um, but yeah wish me luck we're going to be transferring everything just straight out of this tank, walking two meters across the room and putting it in the Dream Reef tank over there. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a big effort and hopefully we don't have any mishaps. I'm going to put the camera into time-lapse mode and record the whole thing, so uh, hopefully it all goes smoothly, but we'll see. Um, before I go to that time-lapse, I'm just going to show you some of the awesome footage that I just took before of my Neptunian cube in its current state, uh, as this will be the documented, um, I guess, last video of this tank looking good. <laughs> I think the next time you see this tank, it's going to be a mess because everything's going to be out of it and the water level will be dropped and uh, yeah, it'll crash real quickly. But uh, that's it, shutting down this tank and uh, the beginnings of the Dream Reef tank. Let's go. time-lapse of me moving everything across into the new tank. I start out with the easy stuff, just like LPS that are on the bottom that I can pick up individually um, and the, the smallest um, loose pieces that are easy to get. I take my time with each one sort of trying to clean off any um, algae or um, vermited snails and things like that that I might want to get rid of. There's, nothing's too bad, I don't, I don't have too many of those kind of issues, but I'm just taking my time with it. And as you can see, the tank's just gradually getting more and more empty as I remove some of the stuff that's all been crowding around the middle and the bottom of the tank. And uh, now that I'm getting ready for the big stuff, the shirt has to come off because I'll be up to my armpits in water. And there goes the first of the main bombies, the one on the right-hand side there. Uh, Jazz just helped me there put up the second reef right strip. And now we're getting ready to move the last and the biggest of the bombies, which will be a forehand job. We move it onto the table get prepared and then a few seconds later bam into the new tank 
final step is catching the fish, which didn't take long at all, and we're done. So there, yeah, this footage is taken like minutes after we finished the transfer, and as you can see, everything looks pretty much fine. I mean, the, the hammers are a little retracted, and the torch there is a little retracted, but I mean, all things considered, you wouldn't really know that everything's just transferred into a new tank because it was all out of water for only a few seconds. There are a few pieces that are just placed on the sand, like that large SPS colony there that used to live on top of one of the gyres. But um, yeah, everything looks great. The transfer went really, really well. None of the rock work broke or no corals smashed or hit the ground or fell off. Everything from the frag racks you can see came across perfectly well. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. So a couple of days later after everything settled, I took this footage uh, as underwater footage just to sort of give you a tour and an up close of all of the corals and everything's great. All the fish are doing fantastic. You can see that Gonny's loving life. My yellow tang won't get out of the camera. Um, the red Monty, scrolling Monty's took a little bit of a beating but not for any reason other than they were on the sand bed and blowing into things until I got the chance to glue them down but um, they'll recover, they're all doing fine. You can see that hammer's looking great and so is that massive torch there. All the zoas are, at, are open. Um, polyps are out on the SPS. This huge um, deshi there looking great. That yellow favia there is brand new. I got that from Reef Galleria. I've been eyeing it off for ages and you know, finally I've got the space to be able to start buying new corals, hooray. There's my favorite ACAN in the world, doing great. This is Toxic Green Pocky, which has grown so much. I originally got that from Sam Parker, actually. Uh, you can see some Home Wrecker and some Walt Disney there. pretty full as well. There's some good stuff on there. Uh, I particularly like that yellow Phoenix Monty uh, and that Rick is amazing. A bit of a frag of Dallas there and some other corals. There's some Gold Rush Monty and some Rastas there. Two different coloured uh, scrolling Montipora, Bird's Nest, more Zoas. So now it's about a week later and everything is doing amazingly well. Um, obviously the fresh sand pad has turned a little bit brown in certain places and that's to be expected. It's brand new sand and the tank's now got an enormous bio load pretty much instantly. So um, the sand will probably go through a bit of an ugly phase but all the corals are looking absolutely awesome as you can see. Nothing at all is responding poorly so far to the transfer. Uh, and the fish are loving it. My blue tang finally has plenty of swimming room. As you can see, compared to the full size of the tank now, he's actually in proportion. Um, down here, I've got some new corals. Yeah, I can finally buy new corals. So I got this rainbow colored fungia plate coral. Uh, it doesn't look great on camera, but I assure you in person, it is one of the most eye popping corals in my tank. Uh, it's a blue base with an orange mouth and orange frills and bright green tentacles, but it just glows which is really hard to capture on camera. I got this big Wilsoni coral, which I love. I've always wanted a Wilsoni, but they've always just been a bit big for my old tank. So now I've got space for it. And I got this um, hammer, which has flecks of yellow on the stems, which I'm really excited about seeing if that's gonna develop even more uh, as it colors up under reef LEDs. Um, yeah, so I got all those corals from Nature Aquariums just a couple of days ago. They've got some amazing coral in at the moment. So if you're in the Mont Albert area, check out Nature Aquariums. They've got some great stuff. I've moved a couple of the corals around a little bit and glued some things down. So obviously this big um, red plate Montipora here is glued down. I moved a big chunk of Dallas up here. Um, that uh, new Favio 
It's in the same spot, but I've just bolstered it slightly onto a frag plug so it sits a little bit higher, um, just to give it some separation from the Dragon Soul Favia underneath it. Um, this whole section is a bit of a graveyard still. I'm planning on building more aquascape to kind of cover this area here and connect this bommy with this bommy. So everything that's on the ground here is just temporary until I build the new aquascape that's gonna go in through the center of the tank. Um, over here, this huge pocky, um, which was originally here, and I broke most of it off, and it's in the sand bed, but I, it's amazing just how big it is. I didn't realize how huge it is, and when it's sitting on its own in the sand there, you can really see just how big it is as a coral. Um, I glued more scrolling red Montipora here and here, um, and you can see all my SPS on top of this bommie has got full polyp extension and is looking amazing. Everything on the frag rack is looking great. And yeah, really happy with the way the tank is progressing. I'm do I am glad that I um, waited and took my time and, and actually did a basic cycle with this tank before doing the full Insta transfer. I mean, I'm not saying that had I not done that and just done the Insta cycle that it wouldn't have worked. It just gave me that extra element of comfort that if there was a little bit of a crash as a result of the Insta transfer, at least the tank had the basic ability to process ammonia before I did the, the big transfer. So because I had the time, it wasn't worth the risk to me. And I know plenty of people have done Insta transfers, no problem in the past, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to be safe and uh, yeah, so. It's, um, it's looking great. I'm really happy with this section of the tank and this section here, but all of this here through the middle is a work in progress. There's gonna be new rock structure all around in here. Um, I also like that there's so much extra swimming room for the fish. I mean, they just look so much better and there's room to add more fish. So um, let me know what, what schooling fish are your favorites because I'm, I'm thinking maybe Chromis and Antheas, but I know there's plenty of other schooling fish out there. So I'd be, um, keen to hear your thoughts on what else I can add um, to just fill out uh, from a fish perspective. I've only got two of the Kessels currently mounted. The third one will be going right here. But right now the third Kessel is currently <laughs> just lighting up my old tank, which is looking very woeful and dismal right now. All that's left in it is this um, Pretty sorry looking Zoa Island with some rasters and utter chaos on there. I do plan to save those those Zoas and, and get them out. Um, I'm just gonna put them on frag plugs, I think initially. Uh, there's also a little bit of GSP and all the GSP up on the weir there. Sorry, the glass here is filthy. Um, and I've, I've taken most of the equipment off this tank as well. It's currently only running the skimmer and the return pump and one of the gyres, this one here, is running. That's it. Um, well, and the, a single Kessel light that's sort of just hovering over the middle. But um, yeah, all, all the rest of the equipment's gone. Um, so this tank's actually for sale. So if you're in Victoria or Melbourne and you're interested in a Neptunian cube, don't mind how dirty it is. I will clean it up before you come and pick it up. But if you're interested, hit me up. Um, I do want to sell it and uh, get it out of my living room. <laughs> Because uh, yeah, this is this is the new favorite child in terms of a fish tank. Um, we've got all the equipment running on this tank now, so I, heaps of biomedia in here. The Aquaforest biofill uh, life fill media in there. A big skimmer doing its thing. Algae scrubber doing its thing. Roller mat doing fantastic as well. Really happy with the way that all the equipment's running. This side is still a little bit of a work in progress. The calcium reactor is online and is running. Um, that this, my calc wasser reactor here is not running. It's just sitting there right now, as well as these dosing reservoirs and this extra chamber I've got here. But behind all of that, we've got the aquarium controller, which I covered in my last, uh, sorry, the, um, the, con the aquarium controller board, which I covered in my last video. Um, and that's doing really well, holding up all of my controllers. You can see the calcium reactor there from Pacific Sun is running at 13% of its total capacity right now. Um, I still need to set up the core seventh. That's gonna be here on this panel. 
because um, it's quite a big unit and it's just on the living room table right now with oh my god so much reef junk <laughs> that i need to clean up but uh we're getting there once once this is installed and i get rid of all that we'll be in a good spot i guess the last thing i want to cover in today's video is the freshwater setup look how amazing that is looking since i've added some plants to it i'll give it its own video update probably in a few days which will cover the actual process of me planting this tank but i just wanted to give you a sneak peek of it right now and yeah i'm really happy with it too i think it looks really cool and you know certainly i don't have much of an eye for fresh water I'm, I'm much more of a salt water guy but to me this looks amazing so uh yeah i guess that's just how i'd um wanted to give you a quick update on that one but yeah the the main dream reef tank over here looking cool all the corals and fish are happy and uh yeah onwards and upwards there's lots of updates to come um, I'm going to cover in detail the UV sterilizer and the effects that it's having on this tank um, shortly. I'm going to cover the setup of the Core 7. Um, I've got lots of other new equipment to set up as well. So some sneak peeks of some new equipment that's uh, come my way that I'll be setting up and giving reviews on shortly. But um, yeah, here we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoy my content and if you want to watch more, uh, you know where to find it, and that's the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.